have you ever thought what it would look like to build a community of people around your business? Hi, I'm Galen, I'm a web designer, but I'm actually a lot more than that too. Along with offering design work to my clients, I also run an online business where I sell courses, memberships, and digital products. But it wasn't always that way. Back in the early days of creating my digital offerings, I was using Facebook groups as a way to provide additional value to my students. I wanted to have real-time conversations, I wanted to share additional content, and I wanted to connect with my audience over live video. If you're anything like me, you are over Facebook groups. I know I'm personally trying to spend less time on social media and not more. I also really disliked how separate my community felt from the educational content that I was creating. What I really wanted was the forum style community that Facebook groups offered without the infuriating algorithm and the distracting ads. This is where Circle comes in. And I remember the first day I found out that Circle existed and I was so excited that there was a company out there to fill this gap. Circle is an insanely powerful community building platform that I use to power my own community, the Creator Club, and my group program, Simplified Designer. You might be thinking, how do you have two different programs inside of one community? And that's one of my favorite things about Circle. I love that I can give some members access to certain spaces and other members access to others. For example, the web designers inside of my program, Simplified Designer, have access to the Simplified Designer curriculum, as well as the support channels associated with it. And they also have access to my membership, the Creator Club. But if you're only a Creator Club member, you see just the Creator Club content and not the Simplified Designer lessons, discussions, and bonus content. Let's take a look behind the scenes of my Circle account so you can see how I have everything set up and how easy it is to organize your content. But first, thank you so much to Circle for sponsoring this video. I love when I get to partner with brands that I already use every single day in my business. At the time I'm recording this video, I've been a paying member of Circle for about two years now. And during that time, they've come out with some amazing new features that I can't wait to show you. This is what it looks like inside of my Circle account. And I'm gonna go through this left sidebar here and sort of how I have my community organized because it might help you if you're just getting started, putting yours together and figuring out how you wanna lay everything out. So over here on the top left, we have your home feed. This is a personalized activity feed, sort of like your homepage on Facebook that shows you your latest posts. So this again, is gonna be specific for every member that I have they're all going to see their own unique feed based on the spaces that they have access to. Then here I have organized all my spaces into different space groups. So I have a welcome space group, which is sort of like my on onboarding space or my space to check in about events that are coming up or to introduce yourself to other members. Then I have my creator club space group, and this is specific to my creator club members. And I'm actually going to be adding a few more spaces here over the coming weeks and months as I add more content, but I always recommend starting out with fewer spaces in the beginning. Less is really more here because you want your community to feel as active as possible and having fewer spaces will really help to concentrate those conversations and make your spaces feel a little more lively. Then I have my simplified designer space here. This has a general discussion section. It has a space for feedback requests. So my students can request feedback on things that they're working on related to the lessons in the course. I have an update section, which I post to to kind of let them know about anything new that's been added to the course. Then I have a lessons section where I actually add all of my video lessons broken down into posts. So you can kind of use Circle as a learning management system. You're able to put content in it and almost use it like a course platform with a built-in community, but it really is a community first platform. Right now, as you can see, we are on my start here page. And this is the first thing that new members will see once they sign up. It welcomes them to the club. And then I've added a video here that walks them through next steps and kind of how to navigate their way around the community. I really love having this and having a video with my face on it. So that way people in the community can feel like they're getting to know me and I'm able to kind of introduce myself and show them around. 
I also really love having all of my new members introduce themselves because this is a great way for members to welcome in new members and for all of us to get to know each other a little bit better. One of the most important things to me when it came to choosing the right community platform for my business was the ability to host events and go live directly from within the platform. As I mentioned earlier, I was really trying to simplify my business and I didn't want to keep sending my members and students to different platforms to access all the content that I had for them. Thankfully, Circle has this built directly into the platform. From the top of the screen, I can click on go live. I can add in a stream title. I can add in a URL so that my members can access the stream. And then I can add in a description, which is optional. And then I also have the option to record the stream, which means after the live stream ends, Circle will email me a video file that I'm able to download and re-upload later if I want my users to have the ability to watch the replay in the future. I can even set stream access, meaning I can decide, do I want my entire community to watch this live stream or do I just want my simplified designer members, for example? So I love how specific you can get with this. Here, I'm going to choose whether I want my stream view to be highlighting the main speaker or do I want it to be a gallery with a group of speakers? And like I mentioned, I can choose whether it's open to my entire community or private to specific spaces. And I can choose to add a co-host if I'd like to host this live with somebody else from my community. Once your settings look good, you can click on test your video. And this will show your webcam here. So I'm able to go to device settings and select the webcam that I'd like to show up here. I can select my microphone and audio output. So if I have headphones or something like that, I could choose my headphones and then I can see my stream. I can test my stream and make sure it looks the way I want it to before I go live. The last step before you go live is entering the backstage area. This is where you would greet any co-hosts if you have them. But in my case, everything looks good to go. And I would just hit go live and it would pop up as a notification directly inside my community and give all of my members the opportunity to join. As you can see here, my video stream is pretty high quality and that's because I'm shooting with a mirrorless camera and not the built-in camera on my computer. And then I also have a somewhat professional microphone that I use just to get that really nice audio quality. If you want all the details on my camera and mic setup and how I create a live stream with this video feed, sign up for a free trial of Circle with my affiliate link. I'll include the link here and in the description around this video and then email me support at localcreative.co and I will send you a link to a behind the scenes training of how it all works. I also want to mention that you don't necessarily need a high quality video setup like this to stream successfully into your community. The most important thing is the quality of the content that you're delivering. So don't let your camera setup stop you. One other thing I want to mention related to live video is the ability to create events inside of Circle where your audience can RSVP to let you know they're coming. Here's an example of an event that I ran recently, and I actually live streamed this event with my co-host directly into Circle, so that way our members wouldn't have to join via Zoom or leave the platform to access the live video. I created the event using the events tab, which then sends out a notification to everybody in my audience and allows them to RSVP if they can make it. And then they'll get reminders before the event starts. To create a new event, you'll go to the event space. And if you don't have an event space yet, you can go to create a space and then choose events here. So rather than a posts space, you want to have an events space. And then once you've got that created, you can click on new event. You're able to add all the event details here and then choose the time and date and schedule it into your community. All of the features that Circle has added over the last few years since I've been a customer have been really intuitive and easy to pick up, but they have an extra special bonus if you want to learn more about these features or just get general support when using their platform. And that is their very own Circle community. You guessed it, built right into Circle. 
With their community switcher functionality, they make it really easy to jump back and forth between the communities that you're a part of within Circle. So anytime I need help or I have a question about a new feature, I head over to the Circle community and check out any updates that they have there. Now let's dive back into my community so I can show you how I have everything set up. At the top of every space, there is a new post button. And if you click this, you're able to create a post. You can choose what space that post goes in. You can add a title, you can add text here. And what's really cool is you can format your posts in a ton of different ways. I'm able to add code blocks. I'm able to add headings and bulleted lists and even embed content as well. So down here, you can see I can upload a video. I can add photos gifs, I can add emojis, I can attach things to this post. So the posts are really flexible and it really allows you to share so many different types of content with your community. Every post has advanced settings that you can use to customize it to your needs. So for example, if you wanted to hide meta info on a post that's more evergreen, you could remove the date and the author. If you wanted to disable likes, if you wanted to pin the post to the top of a space, add some custom HTML. There is so much flexibility here and I love how easy it is to change things on a new post or an existing post to make sure you have your settings exactly how you want them. If you look over at the top right of my screen here, you can see this analytics icon, which is available to me since I am an admin of this community. And this will show me things like active daily members, any new members I've had over the last 30 days, inactive members, my top members, popular posts and spaces, as well as popular dates and times that people are active in my community. So I know the best times to post content. Next to that, we have the members icon, which shows me an overview of all of my members. I then have the settings, which we'll go over in just a second because I wanna go in depth on some of my favorite circle settings so you can customize your account. We've got notifications, which is just like any social media apps that you've used. It's great to be able to see what's happened since you last logged on or last checked your notifications. And then one of my favorite features is the messaging. I I love that you can direct message with members and I use this as a way to stay connected with what's happening with my members to answer any questions that they might have and maybe have some more private conversations that we wouldn't necessarily have in open community spaces. If I click my face in the top right here, I'm able to go to edit profile and this is where I can add a profile photo, I can update my bio and social media links and all of my members are able to do this too. And it's really fun to read your member bios and check out their social media links to get a better idea of who they are as people and connect with them there as well, right from within my circle community. If I head over to my circle community settings, I am able to completely customize the look and feel of my community. I want my community to feel as branded as possible. So the entire experience matches what they might experience on my website. So I wanted to have my brand colors. I wanted to have a custom URL, a custom favicon up in the browser. I really want to make everything feel consistent across all of my branded properties. And I consider my community to be part of that. Here I'm able to add my own community logo, add my brand color, I can add my icon that's gonna go in the browser bar, and I'm even able to add my own custom domain. So you can see here, I have updated my circle community domain to be localcreative.community. And that way it's a lot easier for my students to remember and really easy for them to access again and again. Circle also gives me the option to update my my weekly digest email. I love that Circle sends emails for you. That's one thing I was really missing with my Facebook group. I felt like if the algorithm wasn't favoring my content, my members weren't ever seeing the posts that I was sharing where now they get a second reminder via email that pulls them back to the community and encourages them to log in again and engage with the content. Speaking of engaging with content, not only is my community within Circle mobile responsive, meaning that it works on my phone, they also have a built-in mobile app. I can access everything from my community right from my phone.
So I can log in on either the mobile app or using a web browser on my phone. I can scroll down to say my simplified designer space group, tap on lessons, tap over to the video, hit play. And here I am recording a video of myself while watching a video of myself. Pretty cool. One of the questions I had when I was first getting started with Circle was how do I actually get my members into Circle? And while you can connect your Circle account to Stripe and collect payments that way, they also have a ton of options for third-party integrations. I personally use Thrivecart as my shopping cart because I love how customizable it is when it comes to upsells and downsells. And I'm able to add the members who purchase through Thrivecart to my Circle community with their invitation links feature. So while you can use something like their Zapier integration to add members directly to your community, you can also create a custom invitation link and then include it in something like a follow-up email after somebody signs up for your membership. And that way they can create their own account from that link and you don't need any fancy integrations to make it happen. As I mentioned earlier, I am a long time user of Circle and it has made such a big difference in my business because I feel like I'm able to get so much closer to the students and members inside my courses and programs. If Circle sounds like something interesting to you that you think might be a good fit for your business, I've got something you wanna check out. If you sign up for a no obligation free trial of Circle using the link here or the link in the description below, I am going to send you a video about how I create content for my community and how I actually enroll new members and what that looks like behind the scenes. All you have to do is use that link. It's my affiliate link, sign up for a free trial and then email support at localcreative.co and I will send that extra bonus training straight to you. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and also leave a comment below with any of your circle related questions and I'll answer you there. See you next time.